Parker Griffith here with head coach Mitch Stewart on GoRacers.com. Coach, first week of practice, long way to go, but you got your first look at the team today. How'd you feel? Good. Um, you know, I, I think we got probably close to 130 snaps, so we've got a lot of film uh, to go in there and watch. We've got a lot of situations to go in there and watch. Um, a lot of good teaching moments, especially offensively. A lot of good teaching moments. We had some turnovers in the red zone, had some turnovers on the goal line. Um, you know, uh, we went the goal line period, and I think we we're just about 100% down there on the goal line period scoring, so that's a, a, that's a positive. Um, but, um, you know, defensively, I know Coach Boone has a lot of teaching moments, especially in that goal line period. Um, so we just uh, we wanted to put them in as many different situations as we could. And then, obviously, right there at the end of the deal, we, we did a two-minute drill. Um, we throw a pick, and the defense wins the game for us. So um, it was good to, you know, it was good to see them. But but uh, a lot of teaching moments. Yeah, talk about the end of the game there a little bit because uh, obviously uh, your quarterback threw an interception, but on the plus side, you had a guy get an interception that's going to win you the game. Uh, how do you uh, how do you teach that? What do you take away from that? Well, you just go in there, and and uh, when you get to that that point of the tape, you know the defense is going to be very fired up, and the offense isn't going to be very fired up. Uh, but at the same time, the defense has something to learn. This is how it happened. This is why it happened because, you know, we, we, we read our keys, we played our assignments, da 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 And then offensively, you go in there and you say, hey, this is why it happened. This is, you know, uh, what happened. And, um, and you learn from it and you move forward. And then you hope the next time we rack it back up, uh, when we put them in that situation again, it's a little bit different outcome. Speaking of the offense, uh, KD Humphrey's looking very well today. As uh, Nick Taylor got a couple touchdowns, just call, talk about the uh, offensive performance overall and maybe who stood out to you. Um, well, you know, I didn't, I'll be honest with you, I didn't think that uh, we were overly all that good um, on offense. We had, we had uh, quite a few busts, we had some turnovers, um, and that's really the thing that we've stressed going into camp is uh, turnover margin, um, taking them away on defense and not giving them on offense. And, um, you know, so that was uh, that was kind of discouraging to see from an offensive standpoint. But at the same time, you know, we had a couple of guys, uh, you know, Paul Rice took one down the sideline and got called back for a holding penalty. But, uh, man, I've never seen him run like that, you know. And uh, so we had some plays that, um, you know, personnel-wise, we got to see a couple of different people do some things, you know, Ski and, and uh, Blackburn and Harness and Paul and, and, um, and Pokey and, and some of those guys. Um, so it, it'll be good. You know, it's a good – what you try to do after the first scrimmage is go in there and, and figure out if your personnel is all right. Defensively, uh, when you took over in January, you knew where the defense was. How far have they come? Uh, you know, still a ways to go, but how far they have, have they come since January? I don't know. I, yeah, I'm, I mean, I – I know that they play hard. I know that they uh, it's harder to do things on them right now, um, you know, than maybe in, in previous years. So, But as far as, you know, where the offense is and defense is, to be honest with you, I won't know until we kick off, you know, come come September. Uh, we'll get a, a real good feel for it that first week, and, uh, and we'll kind of learn from there as we go. You still need to look at the tape, but what are some big things you're going to be working on this week in practice? Well, like I said, turnovers for offense you know holding uh, uh, keeping the ball um, you know we, we've got to find a uh, we've got to find a, a backup center you know we put two other guys behind Corey um, right there at the center spot and, and uh, had a couple of miscues on the snap so we, we need one of those guys to kind of separate themselves and uh, we've got some rotational and some procedural things to clean up offensively um, and then, you know, from listening to Coach Boone just out on the field, they had some guys out of line, out of gap, you know, that they've got to get cleaned up, some people going too wide, getting out gapped, um, and just some assignment type stuff. But, uh, you know, all correctable. And it's, uh, as much as you hate to say it, it's all kind of expected, you know, from the first scrimmage. Last question, uh, just talk a little bit about special teams and in particular the your two kickers and your two punters just uh, where are they and uh, where are you trying to get them to well the best thing that we got going right now special teams wise we got a lot of competition um, <clears throat> you know and uh, uh, coach Cooper and, and coach Dawkins and coach Hicks and coach Steele and coach Carrillo all of the guys who handle special teams uh, you know they're doing a tremendous job personnel wise uh, matching people up finding the best competition and getting people to play hard on special teams and I think that's the biggest thing right now is 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 getting those guys to play hard on special teams. And, um, you know, it's like I told the team in the first team meeting when I took the head coaching job, I said, look here, offense and defense, we'll keep it close. Special teams, you'll win the game. 
and um, and we've kind of taken on that mentality special teams wise we're getting a lot of good work a lot of good reps uh, you know we got pretty fired up down here in the KOR and kickoff competition segment that we did and then obviously we had one of the best uh, kicking competitions that came down to the last one um, and I even froze Connor Mitchell before he kicked it and uh, just to put some extra incentive on him and uh, you know he wound up nailing it so uh, very excited about the special teams all right, that'll do it for us on GoRacers.com. Thanks, Coach, for your time, and we look forward to next week. Appreciate it.